This is probably one of my favorite features in Maya, which is Maya's physical sun and sky. It's basically an engine um, that creates a realistic looking light effect using Final Gathering. So since we're using Final Gathering, you're going to want to make sure you have Mental Ray turned on. Uh, go up to your render settings and make sure Mental Ray is in the drop down. If you don't see it, you can always go up to Window, Settings Preferences, and Plugin Manager. Make sure you see that uh, My It's MR bundle turned on, loaded and auto-loaded. Just hit refresh and should be good to go. So now we're going to go back to our render settings and you'll see all these tabs here. Uh, physical Sun and Sky is located under Indirect Lighting. It takes a little bit to load. Um, under Environment you'll see Image-Based Lighting and Physical Sun and Sky. Just hit Create and you'll notice that a directional light will appear on your grid. So you can click the directional light, and if you're having trouble clicking it, you can always go out to your outliner here, click on Sun Direction. Um, I'm just going to move that outside my house here, and drag it up, and rotate it. Um, by rotating this directional light will affect the time of day, so if you have it straight down, the sun will be pointing directly down. Um, basically the tails of the arrow point towards the sun. So I'm just going to rotate it this way and delete my window panel here and just do a quick render for you. Alright, so this looks pretty good I would say. Um, the shadows came out nice and the lighting looks pretty realistic. And you'll notice that it created a horizon and a sky for you. Um, if you want to alter that, you can just go into your uh, sun direction here and go to Maya underscore physical sky one and you'll have all these options uh, you can change the horizon color sun direction uh, ground color uh, sun intensity it's pretty useful um, so another thing I'd like to talk about is when rendering out my physical sun sky um, I prefer uh, changing my quality to production quality and you'll notice when you do that it'll turn off final gathering so always make sure you have final gathering turned on when you want to use physical sun and sky you can bump up your accuracy and uh, play with that um, global illumination doesn't really affect it um, it's basically all you need to know about Maya's physical sun and sky it's a pretty cool feature that uh, produces pretty realistic and easy lighting effects